So this is all you're going to need right here. I'm going to leave links uh, down in the description to these tools uh, so that uh, you can easily do this yourself. Right here, I've got uh, an MC4 uh, crimping tool, a very important tool. Obviously, you've got uh, your PV wire. I've got little short pieces here for demonstration, but uh, they can be whatever length uh, you need them to be. Then you've got uh, the MC4 uh, connectors. Uh, you've got the two different ends right here, and then you've got the uh, two different uh, connectors. Notice how they fit into each other like that. That's probably the hardest part with the MC4 connectors, knowing which one is the male plug and which one's the female plug. You would think that this one's the male, but technically it's uh, the female because this uh, wider part is uh, the part that goes inside of that. And you can see that this part is the actual male uh, connector. So the easiest way I've found to remember which plastic part the metal part goes inside of is simply by seeing if this will fit or not. If it doesn't fit, that means that it's the right one. If it slides in super easily, then that's the wrong one. I've got a cable stripper right here, and then we've got uh, these MC4 uh, disconnect and creation tools. These are very important. So first step is to go ahead and strip the wire. PV wire is very, very thick and has crazy strong insulation. And then it's stranded wire on the inside too, so that makes it even more challenging. So I just go around until I feel some resistance end on that. And then I just go back and wiggle this back and forth and that breaks the interior section of insulation. There you can see the wire starting to appear. And then it takes a little bit of uh, effort and muscle, but uh, you can just slide the insulation off and we've got uh, a stripped wire. Next, be sure and get the right connector for the end you're doing. Now the world is divided on whether you put the wire in like I'm doing right now to the connector and then bring the, the crimper over and crimp it or if you put the connector in the crimper and, uh, and hold it while you insert the wire kind of like this. I am a fan personally of putting the wire in before I put the crimper on it. That way I can just make sure that all the strands of wire are accounted for going into the connector right there. So this connector is kind of, I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of like U-shaped. So these little uh, flaps that are sticking up on the U right now, they are gonna go up into the little U-shape part of the crimper, not this part down here, because this part's gonna kind of fold them over and smash it onto the wire. Insert the wire into the connector, and we simply take the crimping tool and we crimp it down. Now this is a cool tool because it just ratchets all the way down and then when it's done, it releases. And we have a nice crimp right there. That wire is not going anywhere. Next you take the connector and uh, it unscrews. And uh, in the bottom part uh, right here, uh, you've kind of got this uh, shell and then uh, you've got this waterproofing gasket. So we just go ahead and slip the little shell over first and then we follow with this waterproofing piece. Uh, just like that, it's great. You can go ahead and uh, slide that up if you need to. But uh, first I'm going to get uh, the end here and it just snaps on. And then you just uh, shove this waterproofing uh, mem uh, sealer piece up into that. And then this uh, shell just uh, screws on. Once it starts getting tight, that's where these tools come into play. You use the uh, oblong hole in the middle over that part. And then uh, this open-ended wrench part comes on and uh, slides onto that. And then you're able to use that to screw it on. Now these have a clutch mechanism. So when they get tight, can you hear how that's clicking? It won't get any tighter than that and you have a completed MC4 connector. To repeat the process on the other one. We'll do the black uh, wire this time. We'll go ahead and uh, strip it. Go ahead and slide the connector on here. Put it in the crimping tool. 
crimp, inspect, make sure it looks good, tug on it and make sure it's not coming off, unscrew the connector, put the little shell piece on, put the weatherproofing gaskets on here, and snap this on, shove this up. It's weather tight right there. And then start threading this on by hand. Use the oblong hole. Hold the connector on it with that. Use the open end on the other. Until it clicks. And there you have it. So now, go to connect him. You've got a perfect MC4 connector right there. You can use these tools to uh, release them as well. So that's a, a good little uh, trick to know. Links for all this down, will be down in the description. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Four 100% free things that really help the channel. Sure appreciate you guys, and we'll catch you all next time.